Sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Wednesday morning. The time is now 740, and uh, we do have a lot to talk about with regards to our weather and Laura's impacts here in the Arklamis. But at least right now, not really seeing too much going on. Live radar not showing anything going on here in the Arklamis. Generally, we did have a few showers, though, this morning, but those have cleared out. Some showers and thunderstorms, though, do lie in the vicinity, and uh, we'll be seeing these kind of off and on waves of showers and thunderstorms as moisture from Laura continues to filter in our area. Ahead of Laura, we do have tropical storm warnings for a good chunk of the Arklamis here in the blue shaded counties and parishes you see on your screen. And uh, we do have some in the yellow. That's a tropical storm watch in effect. And we also do have hurricane warnings down towards the south and west just outside of our area. But um, maybe a few of our southern and western parishes could be put into a hurricane warning. Depends on ultimately where Laura ends up. We'll get more on that in just a second here. We also do have a flash flood watch in effect for the western half of the Arklamis to account for the heavy rainfall that this storm is expecting to produce, at least where it ultimately tracks. So again, uh, at least heavy rainfall, severe weather, certainly looking like a possibility here as we head into the extended forecast. So generally though, where Laura is, it's in the Gulf of Mexico just to our south and east. And noticed how fast it developed an eye this morning as it uh, really just went under a very rapid uh, intensification earlier. So starting to make its way fairly quickly towards the north and west. And uh, with that being said, going to start feeling the impacts as early as uh, this afternoon. But until then, is expected to become a Category 4 hurricane by this afternoon. So generally, a very, very strong storm is expected here and eventually making landfall as a Category 3 by the time we get to uh, tomorrow morning at about 1 o'clock in the morning. Generally, the consensus is somewhere between Texas and Louisiana, favoring the Louisiana side of things now as there has been a gradual eastward shift with the track. Saw it going west yesterday, now kind of coming back towards our area and uh, if it continues a little bit eastward with each up update well generally uh, we could be expecting more impacts here in the arc limits but for the afternoon and evening we'll see those rain bands I know future trackers not picking up on a lot of activity here but uh, I would expect to see scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon as uh, those rain bands move through and these will offer the potential for some tornadic weather as they develop so folks need to start being weather aware as early as this evening continuing into the overnight hours as Laura continues to get closer to us and generally that rain and wind will be increasing for us as we go through Thursday morning and generally it's going to be sticking with us through much of the day on Thursday. So the uh, low continues to kind of scoot its way a little bit eastward towards us. But generally we have that threat of flash flooding and severe weather as uh, these storms move uh, through our area. So and not out of the woods any sort of uh, way with Laura's impacts here. We could be even be dealing with showers and thunderstorms even into Friday. So as far as our severe weather threat for today. Generally, the highest potential lies along our southern parishes. Do have a little bit uh, of a threat the further north you go, but it is a little bit less at least. But the greater threat will come in for our Thursday here as Laura gets closer to us. So again, uh, people need to be paying attention to the weather as heavy rainfall will be possible as well. Generally, most of us should see about two to three inches of rain, five to six, maybe even higher amounts the further uh, west you go. And it will ultimately depend on where the track is that could shift a little bit east as well. So long range forecast generally remains unsettled with a cold front possible next week.